The series begins with a woman playing an online game. Meanwhile, at NT Life Insurance on Team B, led by Na Jae-hee, the team is struggling, and Jae-hee and her colleague Oh Kyung-soo focus on a risky case. Kyung-soo warns it could lead to trouble. Jae-hee and Kyung-soo visit Kyung-yi, a gamer. When Jae-hee turns off her game, Kyung-yi angrily attacks with a soju bottle, but they eventually leave together. Later, Jae-hee removes a glass shard from Kyung-yi's suit and tells her about Kim min -gi a chemical plant worker who disappeared. His wife is set to receive a payout, but Jae-hee suspects he unalived himself. Though reluctant, Kyung-yi grows curious as Jae-hee pushes her to investigate. At her apartment, Kyung-yi forgets the passcode, but Jae-hee lets her in. Seeing her place cleaned, Kyung-yi realizes they want her to take the case. While gaming, she agrees to help, but insists on using her driver, Santa. Meanwhile, high school girls find a box with a girl's name, revealing a girl wrapped in streamers with kittens. Kyung-yi, posing as a tourist, watches Kim Min-gyu's widow while Santa discreetly steals mail. She uses a cop's parking complaint to ask about the missing husband, but the cop dismisses that he killed himself, citing an accident due to their daughter's illness. Kyung-yi charms locals into discussing unrelated worker deaths. At church, she observes Min-gyu's daughter's artwork and meets his wife, Yoon Jae-young, introducing herself as Kim Soon-mi, their daughter. At NT Life Insurance, Jae-hee reviews worker records while Kyung-soo doubts Kyung-yi's methods, though Jae-hee trusts her. Kyung-yi pretends to grieve with Jae-young, urging her to pursue the payout while advising against mentioning depression. Jae-young insists her husband didn't kill himself, but needs the payout for their daughter's medical bills. Later, Kyung-yi tells Jae-hee the other deaths weren't suspicious, but they discover min -gyu's phone was used three months after his death. Kyung-yi and Santa stake out the motel, where min -gyu Kyung-yi's phone last pinged. Pretending to mourn her husband, Kyung-yi hears about a masked man, a yacht party, and a curse. At church, Kyung-yi notices groceries in Jae Young's car, unsuitable for a diabetic, confirming Min-gyu is alive. That night, she sneaks into the high school, spikes a drink, and hides before the janitor arrives. Kyung-yi stages an attack on Jae Young's car, creating a distraction for her and Santa to break into Min-gyu's house. Though Min-gyu isn't there, they find a baby monitor and burn trash. Santa locates the other monitor, and they hear static and a voice, realizing it's nearby. Outside, Jae Young coaches her daughter on how to answer questions about her father. Meanwhile, Hyung Yi finds the other baby monitor in a nearby trailer and searches for Min Gyu. He flees into the woods, and after a brief struggle, Hyung Yi chases him to a hidden building. The ground collapses, blocking her way, but she digs through and finds a decaying body. Someone watches her from a distance with binoculars. Back at the school, the janitor dies after drinking poisoned macchioli. Later, Kyung Yi, posing as a police officer, addresses a class and spots the person with binoculars. It's Kyung. Kyung Yi chases Min Gyu through the woods while Kyung watches. Min Gyu enters a sewer where Kyung causes a rock slide, trapping him. Kyung Yi tries to help, but Kyung frames her, setting off an explosion with propane and water. The next day, Kyung Yi and Santa observe the police investigating the explosion and and called Jae-hee. The news reports min -gyu's death as accidental. Meanwhile, Kyung lies to her aunt, jung yeon about her whereabouts, but jung yeon notices mud on her boots. Kyung later realizes Kyung-yi is the woman she saw the previous night. During a police interrogation, Kyung-yi argues that min -gyu's death wasn't an accident, linking it to Lee jun hyuns case, but the officer dismisses her theory. At the columbarium, Kyung-soo and Jae-hee discover jun hyun was in debt and that Jae-young recently visited. Kyung-yi blackmails Jae-young, who admits to faking Min-gyu's death but denies causing the explosion. She guided him through the woods after a mysterious call but didn't want him to die. Kyung-yi remains suspicious. Kyung meets Gyeon wook who confirms Min-gyu's death was ruled accidental. Kyung reveals the murder was witnessed by her former teacher's wife, now an insurance investigator. Gyeon wook suggests killing Kyung-yi but Kyung dismisses the idea. He later deletes a message from Jun Hyun and dumps evidence in the river. At Kyung Yi's apartment, Jae Hee admits her fear of being fired after a bad review. Kyung Yi reveals Min Gyu's death was murder. In a flashback, Kyung recalls her classmate Young Ju mentioning their teacher, Sung Woo, who died after rumors about his involvement with a student. Kyung Yi, Sung Woo's wife, tried to clear his name before leaving the police. Kyung coldly remarks, someone should have killed him. Meanwhile, 
Meanwhile, Kyung Yi tracks down her gaming friend Melon Musk, worried about their suicidal thoughts. Disguised as a delivery person, she forces her way into their apartment. After a struggle over a poisoned drink, Melon Musk asks for a reason to live. Kyung Yi admits her own doubts and guilt over her husband's death before accidentally falling into a passing dump truck, landing safely. Kyung Yi emerges from the landfill, hails a taxi, but is abducted by two men who take her to a sauna where Suk confronts her. Suspecting Kyung Yi knows about Min Gyu's death, Suk offers to team up, but Kyung Yi declines, preferring her own team at NT Life Insurance. Suk warns that K may come after her. At NT Life Insurance, Kyung Yi saves Team B by exposing several fraudulent claims, leading to a bigger discovery about a fake cancer history. Meanwhile, Kyung visits a counselor, and her file is linked to a missing child poster with her photo. At the hospital, Kyung Yi confronts Jung Yeon about a patient she helped open an insurance policy for who had thyroid cancer. The patient claims Jung Yeon advised him to omit it. Kyung intervenes, pushing her aunt to deny the patient's history, while Kyung Soo confirms the insurance policy will be terminated. As they leave, Yong Yeon worries about losing her job, but Kyung Ye reassures her that the company will be satisfied with collecting premiums without paying out claims. In the elevator, Kyung Ye asks Kyung, Why are you pretending not to know me? In a flashback, Kyung Ye questions Kyung about a janitor's death, sensing something odd. In the present, Kyung triggers painful memories about Kyung Ye's late husband, causing Kyung Ye to flee the hospital. Hospital. Meanwhile, Jae Hee plans to transfer Kyung Soo, but he convinces her to let him stay. During a drive, Kyung Yi hallucinates her late husband and jumps out of the car, with Santa chasing her as Kyung films the scene. Amused, Jae Hee meets with Sook about Kyung Yi's employment. Later, Jae Hee and Kyung Soo review the K case, concluding K is a hired killer. Meanwhile, Kyung poisons Park Gyu Il's nasal spray, and he dies while she films his death. Later, a victim stabs Gyu Il's already dead body, and a billboard reads, I did it. Kyung Yi suspects K is behind the death, noticing a pattern of morally corrupt victims and accidental deaths. In the morgue, she finds a hidden camera on Gyu Il, realizing he wasn't killed by the girl who stabbed him. At the festival, Kyung Yi deduces how oil, soap, balloons, and the nasal spray caused Gyu Il's death. Jae Hee spots an accomplice on footage whose keychain resembles Jae Young's. Kyung Yi sneaks into the accomplice's apartment, steals the keychain, and tails a woman with a devil keychain, but loses her in the subway. The woman sends photos of Kyung Ye and Santa to Kyung. Kyung, after lying to Jung Yun, steals her ID and confronts the girl who stabbed Gyu Il, revealing he was already dead. Santa investigates a car lot alarm, unaware that Kyung is following him. She later infiltrates KT Life Insurance, hides in a trash can when Santa arrives, then escapes. Santa follows her, but loses her. At the office, Kyung Yi and Santa review footage, unaware Kyung is listening. Team B discovers a bug, which Santa destroys. Santa reveals the person he chased was a woman. Kyung Yi films Kyung during rehearsal, suspecting her leg is injured. Jae Young informs Kyung Yi that her husband's killer requested a meeting, leading Kyung Yi to plan an observation mission. Jae Hee suggests involving Suk, but Kyung Yi refuses, sparking a tense argument about her past. Gyeon Wook ignores a call from Kyung, causing suspicion from his boyfriend. Meanwhile, Jae Hee and Kyung Soo share a moment in her car, where he subtly criticizes her closeness to Kyung Yi. Jae Hee recalls warning Kyung Yi about her husband's involvement in a student's death, but Kyung Yi insisted on confronting him. Meanwhile, Jae Hee and Kyung Soo are trapped in a sealed car, eventually waking up inside a shipping container as the tide rises. Kyung Yi and Santa race to save them. Kyung is framed for drug possession by Jeon Wook and arrested. Jehi identifies their location as an estuary before her phone dies. Kyung Yi rushes to rescue them on Santa's moped. Jehi manages to push Kyung Su out of the container before losing consciousness. Both are rescued and sent to the hospital, where Jehi undergoes surgery. Kyung Yi deduces they were transported to the container using an ATV. At an ATV rental, Kyung Yi identifies Kyung's disguise from a wig, hat,
hat and glasses found in the trash. Jian Wook visits Kyung at the police station, scolding her for being reckless. Kyung reflects on her traumatic past, including the incident where her father shot her mother before taking his own life. Kyung Yi continues investigating, gathering information about Kyung's past in Seattle. As Kyung is released by Jung Yeon, she avoids going home and instead takes off in the opposite direction, while Gaon Wook watches through hacked security cameras. Meanwhile, Kyung Yi learns from Kyung Su that Kyung was present at several crime scenes, including the janitor's poisoning at the school. A flashback reveals that Gaon Wook had allowed Kyung to kill his father. In the present, Kyung Yi and Santa sneak into Kyung's apartment, searching for clues. They find items linking her to recent crimes, but are interrupted by Jung Yeon. They manage to charm her into believing Santa is Kyung's boyfriend. After Jung Yeon leaves, Kyung Yi connects the dots that Kyung and Jung Yeon may be planning to leave Korea. Ja Hee, now awake, confirms that they need to intercept Kyung at the airport. At the airport, a large team waits for Kyung, but she doesn't show up. Kyung Yi spots a clue pointing to a water sports park near the Han River, where Kyung had rented a container. As the clock ticks down, the team learns Kyung's phone has been turned on, but she tricks them by having someone else carry her phone, while she hides with Gion Wook at their hideout. After the failed airport sting, Suk expresses her frustration, tightening her grip on Jaehee, but relaxes when she sees her son's rising political success. Meanwhile, Kyung Yi tracks Kyung to her hideout. She hopes she's wrong and that Kyung will be caught at the airport, but when she peers through the window, she comes face to face with Kyung. A confrontation ensues, with Kyung overpowering Kyung Yi, who tries to trap her inside. Kyung forces her way out, and instead of fleeing, she attacks Kyung Yi, throwing punches. Kyung Yi fights back by spraying paint in Kyung's face. When Kyung grabs a machete to sever Kyung Yi's hand, Santa arrives and traps Kyung in a net, but Kyung escapes, picking the lock on the handcuffs. She flees to the river, steals a paddleboard, and evades the police by diving into the water. At the airport, Mr. Kim informs Suk that Kyung Yi tracked Kyung to the hideout, but Suk remains focused on building trust with Jae Hee. Meanwhile, at Kyung's hideout, Kyung Su and Santa help Kyung Yi investigate. Kyung Yi discovers that Kyung's collection of script books is tied to her murders. Jae Hee arrives, frustrated that Kyung Yi didn't inform her sooner, but Kyung Yi brushes it off, accusing Jae Hee of being too busy with Suk. Their argument is interrupted when a new package arrives, containing a Joan of Arc script, which Kyung Yi connects to Kyung's next planned murder. Days later, Kyung Yi is still at the hideout, analyzing the script script books. Her disheveled appearance draws Santa's concern as he tries to clean her up with dry shampoo. Jae dismisses Kyung Yi's obsession with the scripts as overthinking, but Kyung Yi insists that the specially bound books hold deeper meaning. Just then, two officers from Bongbaek Station arrive, requesting a handwriting sample from Kyung Yi. They've intercepted a letter accusing her of her husband's murder. Though it resembles her handwriting, Kyung Yi identifies it as a forgery. As she recounts the night of her husband's death, she grows emotional, explaining how she had lost trust in him. The police remain skeptical, but Kyung Yi reflects on the incident, wondering if his death could have been murder. Her emotional collapse brings back memories of her husband's connection to a student's death and her own suspicions. In a dreamlike state, she envisions herself watching Kyung perform a scene from Hamlet, in which Kyung eerily breaks the fourth wall, hinting at her murders. When Kyung Yi wakes up, she rushes back to the hideout, convinced that Kyung's murders are connected to the plays in her scripts. She realizes the Joan of Arc script foreshadows Kyung's next target. Meanwhile, a man receives a mysterious package outside his door, containing a plane ticket to Manila and one of Kyung's dolls indicating he is the next victim. At Team B headquarters, Kyung Yi reflects on Kyung's methods, sharing advice she once received about trusting the least reliable person to solve a problem. They shift focus to Kyung's accomplices, believing that being chosen by Kyung would make them feel special enough to brag subtly. Santa performs a reverse image search on one of Kyung's dolls, uncovering a link to Kim Soo Young, a former employee of KD Peace Lab. Kyung Yi, disguised as pest control, 
Cole investigates Su Yong's workplace and finds a note reading, Kill Me, under a desk. Meanwhile, Gyeong Su and Santa discover a hidden USB stick under a fake plant. On it, they find evidence that Su Yong had been running a side gig for Mirinette. In the parking lot, they meet Samzi, a conspiracy theorist whom Kyung Yi follows. Samzi believes Ko Dam communicates with aliens, but his footage shows Ko Dam speaking in Pig Latin. Kyung Yi decodes this as uploading the campus footage on the main page, revealing that Ko Dam has been uploading Yoon Mi Ai's video to Mirinette himself. After watching the footage, Kyung Yi eats the SD card to keep it hidden and suggests Samzi drop the topic. Jae Hee updates Suk about Kyung's next target, Ko Dam, before joining the team for dinner. Meanwhile, Gaon Wook tracks Kyung via CCTV and warns her that Kyung Yi is watching her closely. Back at the office, Santa drops his coffee mug in shock. The broken mug reveals a clue. Meanwhile, Jae Hee and Kyung Soo follow Ko Dam's car from his office. Just as Kyung Soo jokes about a cliche truck accident, a fleet of trucks surrounds Ko Dam's car and escorts him to KD Peace Lab. The team watches from across the street, wondering how Kyung plans to kill Ko Dam when they can't even see him. Kyung Yi notices a banner for an upcoming robotics showcase at the lab and realizes that Kyung plans to strike there, referencing Joan of Arc's march to war. Suk, at a hospital, while meeting with Kyung Yi and Jae Hee. Suk knows Ko Dam will announce his mayoral campaign at the showcase, making it a prime opportunity for Kyung to strike. The following day, Mr. Kim receives a bomb in a cardboard box, which detonates outside KD Peace Lab. Although no one is hurt, Ko Dam fires his head of security out of frustration, forcing the man to feed the guard dogs. The dogs drop dead from poison, and Ko Dam menacingly threatens the security head, warning him to keep quiet if he doesn't want his wife to suffer. The team plans their approach to the showcase, with Santa successfully securing an invitation. As they strategize, Kyung Yi asks Jae Hee why she thinks Ko Dam becoming mayor would be a problem, suspecting Suk's political interests. They also suspect that Jung Yeon might be Kyung's potential hostage. Meanwhile, Jung Yeon is being held by Mr. Kim in a house with blocked windows. She insists she doesn't know where Kyung is, but offers to bring her in exchange for her freedom. Mr. Kim allows her to leave, but Kyung Yi meets her outside, explaining that Kyung has killed people. Jung Yeon is in denial and angrily accuses Kyung Yi of framing Kyung. Kyung Yi urges Jung Yeon to ask Kyung directly if she's committed these murders, as Kyung might only be honest with her. Kyung monitors the CCTV and spots Kyung Yi's team in the convention. Kyung Yi finds rat droppings and a hole in the wall, which she patches to cut off Kyung's planted signal. However, Kyung still has the building's schematics. This time, Kyung's plan involves the Peacekeeper robot and a spring-loaded trap in the vents. The trap is designed to react with the robot's metal, causing a deadly explosion. The convention kicks off with Kyung sending Gunwook inside disguised as a delivery guy, equipped with glasses that have a hidden security camera. Santa is similarly dressed, but Gunwook is the one under Kyung's direction. Small robots begin rolling across the room, diverting attention from Kodam. However, Kyung panics when she spots her aunt, Jung Yeon, in the crowd. The robots, not part of Kodam's setup, appear to be rigged to explode. Chaos erupts as the robots catch fire. Gun Wook approaches Jung Yeon, urging her to leave, while Kyung Yi notices him and gives chase. Outside, Gun Wook manages to escape Kyung Yi, but she catches a glimpse of his license plate. Meanwhile, Kyung rushes out of the building, racing to the convention center to check on her aunt's safety. Jae Hee confronts Kodam and takes him down with a taser. Jung Yeon, thinking the entire event was set up to frame Kyung, grabs Kodam's gun and demands answers. Kyung rushes to the scene but freezes as cars swerve around her. Just as Jung Yeon steps outside, a metal bolt strikes her, killing her instantly. Kyung Yi and Kyung lock eyes before Gion Wook drags Kyung away on his motorcycle. Jae Hee delivers Kodam to Mr. Kim, who kills him under Suk's orders. Suk watches via video as Kodam is injected and his car sets on fire. Kyung Yi, haunted by the events, stands by the burned robot. Reflecting on the tragedy, Santa, sick with a fever, lies nearby, and Kyung Yi checks his temperature before eerily stealing his wallet. At Kodam's memorial, Heo Sung Tae uses the opportunity to score political points. Suk, Jae Hee, and Mr. Kim discuss Kodam's death 
with Sook warning Jaehee to be cautious about what she says publicly. Sook insists she takes care of her people, and they must catch Kyung, suggesting a future alliance with her. Kyung Yi, suspicious of Santa's past, confronts him about his background, revealing she ran a check on him. He tries to prove his innocence by inviting her to his apartment, where he shows personal mementos tied to Team B. Kyung Yi finds one of Kyung's dolls among his belongings, but Santa claims he was only trying to understand Kyung's mind. Still uneasy, Kyung Yi decides it's time they part ways, unable to shake her doubts. At Team B's office, Jae Hee informs Kyung Su that the team has been disbanded and he's been transferred to Team A. As Sook's people confiscate their investigation files, Kyung Su sneaks one folder away. Kyung, meanwhile, follows a drunken mother outside a restaurant after an altercation and pushes her off a rooftop in a fit of anger. Stunned by her actions, Kyung seems detached and unbothered by the death. Kyung Su visits Kyung Yi at her apartment, where he learns she's quit drinking. After asking Santa to leave, Kyung Su reveals that Kyung's accomplice had a distinctive tattoo on his arm. With this, along with the direction of the motorcycle, they start piecing together the identity of the culprit. Kyung Yi also has a cartoon sketch of the accomplice's face to aid in the investigation. Suk throws a surprise by appointing Jae Hee as her new campaign advisor, making Jae Hee uncomfortable with her deeper involvement. Kyung eventually calls Kyung Yi, blaming her for Jong Yun's death. Although Kyung Yi and her team didn't directly kill her, they intended to use her as leverage, which is enough to provoke Kyung's thirst for revenge. During the call, Kyung gives Kyung Yi an address, directing her to meet at the Highlight Hotel at 7 p.m. Realizing her apartment is no longer safe, Kyung Yi heads out for dinner, but Kyung continues to track her. Gyung Su, lurking nearby, is spotted by Kyung, who stabs him with a fork as a warning for the confrontation to come. After Kyung slips away, the team reconvenes and discusses the attack. They come to the realization that Sook is the mastermind behind Kodam's murder. Despite Kodam being a terrible person, the fact remains that murder is murder, which makes Jihee question what's truly happening. She later watches a recording of a political meeting, revealing crucial information. Later, a knock at Jihee's door reveals a young boy, but it turns out to be a trap. Kyung ambushes her and holds her captive. At the same time, Kyung appears at a hiking trail, where Kyung Yi confronts her and begins questioning Sook's true motives. The tension between them intensifies as they lock eyes. Kyung taunts Kyung Yi with Jae Hee's scarf. Enraged, Kyung Yi throws Kyung onto a table, demanding to know if she killed Jae Hee. Kyung denies it, but knows Kyung Yi won't believe her without proof. Mr. Kim arrives with backup, but Sook tells him to stand down, siding with Kyung. Furious, Kyung Yi vows to kill Kyung if Jae he is dead and storms off. Sook has her men follow Kyung Yi, solidifying her alliance with Kyung, who watches slightly uneasy. Kyung Yi is forced into Mr. Kim's car trunk. He tells her Jae Hee is dead, though she remains doubtful. Santa panics when he realizes Kyung Yi is missing. Mr. Kim rolls a barrel, presumably with Kyung Yi inside, down a hill. Santa and Kyung Su use a tracking app to locate Kyung Yi, despite receiving a suspicious message from her phone. Kyung Yi wakes up blood in a large chamber, saved by a metal frame. She calls for help, but hears nothing. As she approaches a ladder, Jae Hee's voice in her mind questions why she's fighting to survive. Kyung Yi responds that she needs to know if Jae Hee is alive. She attempts to climb, but falls to the bottom. Meanwhile, Kyung, lounging by a pool in Thailand, gets a ticket back to Seoul. She's dropped off at the same house where Jung Yan was held, realizing it's now her turn to be confined. Kyung explores the house and finds it surrounded by a electric fences and high walls. She attempts to escape but gets shocked, laughing at her failure. Meanwhile, Kyung Yi wakes up trapped in a net surrounded by trash. She cries for help, but fireworks drown out her voice. Reflecting on Jae Hee's words, she clutches a teddy bear, filled with regret, and apologizes. Santa continues searching for Kyung Yi and discovers her jacket stuck in compressed plastics. Later, Sook visits Kyung, who asks about Kyung Yi's fate. Sook dismisses the question and assigns Kyung a new target, someone involved in human trafficking. Kyung quickly completes the task, leaving the body in an elevator. Kyung Yi regains consciousness and, inspired by memories of Jae Hee, uses the net to fashion a rope and escape. At the top, she's rescued by Jae Hee, Santa, and Kyung Su, leading to an emotional reunion as Kyung Yi confirms Jae Hee is real. At Jae Hee's home, the group decides to let Suk and Kyung believe Kyung Yi is dead for now. Back in the present, Kyung Su 
notes Kyung's assistant has a tattoo similar to Lee Jun Hyun's, linking them to the same juvenile center, raising suspicions about Gun Wook. Kyung Yi and Santa break into Gun Wook's apartment, throwing a net over him when they find him delirious. During Gun Wook's interrogation, Kyung Yi and Santa threaten him but learn little, aside from his denial of any knowledge of Lee Jun Hyun's death footage. They warn him to be careful and let him go. When Gun Wook returns home, he finds a suspicious package and Kyung Su waiting. Inside the package is a man's body, wrapped in ribbons, Hyung's twisted message. Meanwhile, Hyun Tai escapes the temple where Suk has hidden him, enraging both Suk and Kyung. He runs into Jae Hee and Kyung Yi, who capture him and deliver him, tied up in Jae Hee's car trunk, to Suk. Suk thanks them and, while considering her next move, Kyung Yi arrives to question her plan. At that moment, Mr. Kim, newly freed, barges in, pretending to still be in control. Suk dismissively thanks Kyung Yi and sends Mr. Kim off with Hyun Tai. Meanwhile, Jae Hee's father teaches Nana how to fish, explaining how to either bait or scare fish out. As they watch TV together, Nana recognizes Sung Tai when the news breaks about Jun Hyun's leaked death video. Chaos ensues, but Suk quickly covers it up, paying an expert to declare the video fake. Hyun Tae wakes to eerie laughter and flickering lights. He grabs a bat in fear, finding a hair in his water. When he calls for help, Kyung's voice comes through the phone, threatening to kill him. The phone heats up, and he drops it, terrified, hiding under his blankets. Meanwhile, Suk is stood up for dinner by an assemblyman, realizing she needs help. She meets with Kyung Yi, uncertain what to offer, but pleads for Hyun Tae's life. Kyung Yi proposes a plan that requires Suk's complete trust. Desperate, Suk kneels and agrees. Elsewhere, Kyung, disguised as a cleaner, meets Gi on Wook, who reveals Kyung Yi leaked Hyun Tae's video, making him harder to kill. They move to a hotel, where Gaon Wook speculates the video might reveal more than Jun Hyun's death, but Kyung has her own plan. The team, including Samsi and Melon Musk, gathers over pizza. Kyung Su observes that Kyung Yi has achieved her goals. Back at the office, Kyung Su finds a disc labeled K, leading him to a bathroom where Kyung appears, offering to handle the killings in exchange for files. He reluctantly agrees. Meanwhile, Mie delivers drinks laced with hidden blackmail materials. Kyung Yi confronts Kyung for a conversation. At a press conference, Suk tearfully apologizes for Hyun Tai, claiming he's abroad. Someone throws acid at her, and Jae Hee and Mr. Kim rush to her aid. At the hospital, Kyung Yi snaps pictures of the bandaged Suk. Hyun Tai prepares for a speech, but receives a voice message from Sung Tae asking Kyung to kill him. Furious, he kicks out his stylist, processing the betrayal. He negotiates with Kyung for his safety, promising payment, but both Kyung and Gun Wook mock his desperation. The team debates Kyung's true intentions, noting her tendency to torment her victims before killing them. Santa adds, to kill or not to kill, while holding knives. Kyung Yi concludes Kyung will torture Hyun Tai when he shows up. Before a press conference, Hyun Tai confronts Suk with a recording of her plotting his death. He expresses relief the video was leaked, tired of hiding. After the conference, he plans to flee the country, but when Suk's car gets a flat, Kyung appears, pointing a gun at Mr. Kim. During the press conference, a former lover of Hyun Tae disrupts the event, accusing him of mistreatment. Meanwhile, Kyung kidnaps Suk, placing her on a stage and giving her a twisted choice. Save Hyun Tae or let 20 people, including Sung Tae, die in a bomb-filled building. Unaware that Sung Tae is among them, Suk chooses to sacrifice Hyun Tae. Kyung reveals Hyun Tae wanted both Suk and Sung Tae dead. As Suk lunges for the self-destruct button, Kyung pulls it away, accusing her of fake selflessness. Sensing something off, Kyung removes the bandages, revealing not Suk, but Kyung Yi, who smiles, having successfully outwitted her. The scene flashes back to when Team B gave Kyung the boat party video. On the train, Kyung Yi strategizes to outsmart both Kyung and Suk. The past blurs with the present as Kyung angrily realizes Kyung Yi has been plotting against her since learning of Hyun Tae's corruption. Kyung Yi confidently tells Kyung, Did you think I'd hand over the video without a backup? She and Jae Hee tie Hyun Tae in a sack, while Kyung appears in Kyung Yi's memory, demanding answers. Kyung Yi explains she gave the video to show her power to Suk. Kyung, disguised as a janitor,
janitor meeting Gion Wook. Kyung realizes Kyung Yi released the video to protect Hyun Tai. Kyung Yi's true goal was to make Suk ask for help, giving her control. Suk kneels before Kyung Yi in a vision, later replaced by Kyung, stunned at Kyung Yi's plan. Kyung discovers Kyung Yi orchestrated the attack on Suk, shown in a flashback of Suk's public apology. Kyung Yi reveals she disguised herself as Suk for three days while Suk hid. In the present, Gaon Wook grabs Kyung Yi's bomb trigger. A struggle follows, and Kyung switches Kyung Yi's trigger with one linked to Kodam's victims. Kyung Yi pretends she now wants to kill the victims, stalling for Kyung Su, who manages to evacuate most of them. Kyung Yi pushes the button, but the feed cuts out. Kyung hugs Kyung Yi, who reveals her plan to turn Kyung in. Backstage, Santa alerts Kyung Yi as Gion Wook returns, holding him at gunpoint. Suk enters with a shotgun, orders Mr. Kim to kill everyone, and shoots at Kyung, but Gion Wook takes the bullet. Kyung Yi retreats as chaos ensues, and Kyung detonates a bomb, engulfing Suk in flames. Jae and Kyung Su find Mr. Kim wounded, and Suk badly burned but alive. Suk spitefully hopes Kyung and Kyung Yi died together, then storms off as the press arrives. Inside, Kyung Su finds Gion Wook, who whispers crucial information about Kyung's next move. Kyung forces Santa along train tracks, contemplating killing him. As she shoves him into a container, she asks if she should end it. Before Santa can answer, Kyung Yi appears, tracking them with Kyung Su's help. As the train moves, Kyung debates who to shoot with her last bullet. Kyung Yi challenges Kyung's reasons for killing. Kyung shifts focus to Santa, accusing him of causing Sung Woo's death. Kyung Yi demands the truth, but Santa's silence causes Kyung to snap. She gives Kyung Yi an ultimatum act, or she'll kill Santa. A struggle ensues, and Kyung knocks Santa out. Just as she prepares to shoot him, Kyung Yi opens the container door and drags Kyung off the moving train. They wake up in foggy wood. Woods. Kyung sees a black cat before trying to stand. Kyung Yi, still dreaming of video games, grabs Kyung's ankle as police sirens approach. Kyung is arrested, watching Kyung Yi and her team from the car, envious of their bond. Later, Melon Musk sneaks food into Kyung Yi's hospital room. Kyung Yi cracks open a beer, but Kyung Su catches her, teasing that she's done thinking for now. Ja Hee teases Kyung Yi by drinking the beer herself before submitting the Kodam murder video to the prosecutor. She hints at more evidence evidence for a deal. Mr. Kim, still handcuffed, overhears prosecutors discussing restaurants, missing his freedom. Suk faces charges for 17 crimes while Hyun Tae is arrested. Sung Tae drops out of the mayoral race, and Gaon Wook is hospitalized under Daeho's watch. At the aquarium, Jae Hee distracts Nana from a hunting shark with a comforting story. At Kyung Yi's, she's gaming while Kyung Soo sets up a sign for their detective agency. She's surprised, and later finds a business card naming Santa as team leader. In prison, Kyung dismisses her lawyer, finding peace until a nearby prisoner screams about someone deserving to die, agitating her. Jae-hee brings Kyung Yi a plant instead of beer. When the doorbell rings, they are stunned by Kyung Yi's mysterious doppelganger. Kyung Yi leans in and whispers, something's fishy, 